You may want to think twice before catching your own dinner, especially if you are fishing in local rivers. News 2's Macy McLeod has more from a recent study at the Medical University of South Carolina. Macy, what is this warning about fish in local waters? Well, Carolyn, MUSC researchers tell me they first started looking at our local fish after studying the health of dolphins and noticing the high levels of contaminants in their systems. It turns out that they have some of the highest levels of uh, these persistent pollutants uh, than other areas of the world, really. And so um, brought us to the question, well, how much is in the fish and is does it differ between certain areas in the Charleston area. Researchers looked at fish in the Charleston Harbor, Ashley River, and Cooper River. In the fillets, they found industrial chemical PCB, the flame retardant PBDE, and pesticides. You know, these are uh, uh, all over in our environment, but predominantly from past industrial discharges. They're in the sediment, especially in old industrialized areas, and then um, the flame retardants are sprayed and used everywhere, and so they get into the wastewater and into our environment. The fish analyzed include Atlantic croaker, southern flounder, striped mullet, red drum, spotfish, and spotted sea trout. While the contaminants will not make a person immediately sick, eating this fish could cause health problems over time. The levels aren't high enough to cause any kind of acute symptoms or anything like that is that the the concern is the these are very um, fat loving chemicals so they go into your fat and you store them and so um, uh, so in particular kids and women of childbearing age should limit their uh, consumption of he says fish coming from further off the coast which is what's served in restaurants should be safe to eat we wanted to get the word out to the uh, fishermen who uh, who fish off the um, uh, docks and go out in the boat, and in the, especially in the Ashley Cooper River. MUSC recommends releasing an advisory based on the results of this study, but that is up to the state health department. Reporting live in the Alert Center, Macy McLeod, count on two.